good morning students last class we saw the what is the uh, note making and what is the summary and the steps how to do now we are going to do the example of the note making let's see the first example first example make the notes of the following passage and then summary the using the notes our a blood consists of the three type of the blood cells and the plus platelets the red blood cells are a small thin and a disc shape they are composed of an iron con containing components called hemoglobin when blood passes through the lungs each hemoglobin molecules picks up four oxygen molecules and it supplies them to the body tissues red blood cells also transport of the carbon dioxide from the tissues of the lungs the lungs throw out this gas when we exhale the white blood cells are big and a few compared to red cells numbering numbering of all the very 700 red cells they are the body defenders the soldiers that fight bacteria and other enemies and destroy dead cells this is the passage about the blood cells that means you can give a title also blood cells first note what is the note i told you note you select only need not to write a sentence you, you have to write only a key points that's why i selected only a key points selected only a key points note blood contains red blood cells white blood cells and the platelets the three first important points second important point red cells transport oxygen and carbon dioxide third one writes cells destroy the bacteria so when you want to write note making you write only a important points that means as a note okay next is rough page draft R rough draft our blood consists of the three types of the cells yes red blood cells white cells and platelets red blood cells are a small thin and a disc shaped with the iron containing component called hemoglobin it picks up four or oxygen molecules from lungs to tissues and transport carbon dioxide from the tissues of the lungs the white blood cells are big and are one for every 700 cells this is totally we are taken from the given passage first we are did note and then rough then a fair copy give a title this is the how to write the format and how to write you have to finish up with the fair copy fair copy i given a title is called blood cells blood consists of red blood cells white blood cells and platelets red blood cells contain hemoglobin it transports oxygen from the lungs and tissues and the carbon dioxide from tissues to lungs white blood cells are larger and if every 700 cells they are destroyed the dead cells so this is a fair copy also we are given a one small title that is what we called it blood cells now we come to the conclusion what is that number of the words in the given passage how to take in a 119 first what we have to do total it 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so each word is one word that means one two one word is called one one number one two three so like that total the passage how much is the passage is there how 
how many words is there in the passage given passage you first count it and divide it by 3 and how much will come here 45 words now you count it and get as a 45 conclusion number of the words in the past pair copy only a 45 like that you have to write and complete the answer and try to get good marks in the another language skill called note making then we move to the comprehension comprehension that is a reading comprehension it is also one of the very easy one because question passage answer everything in the question paper itself what you have to do you have to read the passage correctly and understand it and get the meaning of the passage and see below they given a questions read the question thoroughly understand it and find out the answer from the given passage like that you do and complete the answer now we'll see that what is a comprehension a comprehension is an exercise to test the skill of the understanding of students here we have to read and understand the unseen passage and answer the questions given below so like that it is called it is unseen passage only you in anywhere you in never seen though so that you first see that and understand it and ready to write the answer given passage now the key points key points read the passage thoroughly to understand the core concept first one search in the passage for the words given in the questions search in the passage for the words given in the questions next answer in a full sentence do not answer in a one word like that what we have to do first to read the question and find out the answer half of the answer you should get from the question paper itself that means each and every questions in the comprehensions question paper you have half of 50 percent of the answer is there in the question itself remaining answer you can find out from the given passage next third point answer all the questions you need not to skip out any question from the given passage next example read the passage given below and answer the questions that follow first one some insects are harmful to human beings the poison of the black widow spider called unbearable pain it stiffen the muscles of the abdomen and causes death to some of the victims some kinds of the mosquitoes carry germs that cause diseases such as malaria yellow fever and sleeping sickness the mosquitoes pick up the germs and pass them on to the people they bite fly fly fill play and a part is spreading such diseases like cholera dysentery and typhoid fever all insects which carry germs and spread diseases live and breed only in dirty places so we can prevent such diseases if we keep our surrounding and ours free of dirt so this is the passage so this is definitely each and everyone must maintain clean cleanliness is the godly godliness so cleanliness is very very important if you are clean your surroundings you cannot expect any disease so that the passage tells about the cleanliness if your dirty place is there definitely mosquitoes will come if mosquitoes has come definitely the disease is there so like that the passage is given if you understand clearly and understand and get the correct answer from the given answer now we move to the question how harmful is the bite of the black widow spider i tell you in tamil how harmful is the bite of the black widow spider in the widow spider alla endha alavukku kadicha baadhippu undagum abdinu irukku question enna seiyano you have to go through that passage 
and here is that answer is there what are the it suffer is there it suffers of the muscles of the abdomen and the causes death here you have the spider bite it abdomen in here the muscles the st stiffen the muscles of the abdomen and the causes the death is some of the victims so you write only a exact answer no need to write it here and there from the capital letter to till the full stop next sentence next question what are the diseases caused by the mosquitoes enna na enna na question mosquitoes kosu kadichadunala enna na vyadhigal varum appdin question irukku nee enna seiyano inga paakkanum idhila paathala nariya kuduthirukanga inga so some kind of the mosquitoes in there carry germs ulle eduthittu podu enna na disease so inga disease indra edathila kuduthutan appo what is that malaria yellow fever and sleeping sickness inga kuduthirukken malaria malaria yellow fever and sleeping sickness these are the caused by the mosquitoes nu eludhanum na eludhan vittirken nee enna pannu remaining question answer is in the question paper itself write and complete the answer third one how do mosquitoes play an a part of the spreading mosquito end alavukku oru noye paraprathula inda mosquitoes irukku kaaranamaa irukku appadina enna kaaranamaa irukku paathanam po appo the mosquitoes pick up the germs and passes them on to the people they bite odane enna panudhu adu kadicha odane avungitta irukka kudiya germs athana eduthu poi innorthu kadicha avungalude odambla paravi vittirudhu adanal enna irudhu avungalukku andha vyadhi vandirudhu so inge irukku third answer is the mosquitoes pick up the germs from the other people germs and they passes them to the that people innoru thrudiya odambla adu seluthirudhu adanal avungalukkum vyadhi varudhu kadicha avungalukkum vyadhi varudhu fourth question why are the flies harmful to us indha mari parakka kudiya chinna chinna paravai inga chinna chinna parakka kudiya ஒரு ஈக்கலாக இருந்தாலும் சரி அல்லது கொசுக்களாக இருந்தாலும் சரி ஏன் நமக்கு பாதிப்பு வருது ஒய் ஆர் த ஃப்ளைஸ் ஆம்ஃபுல் டு அஸ் எதனால் வருது த ஃப்ளைஸ் ஆம்ஃபுல் பிகாஸ் ஸ்ப்ரெடிங் சச் டிசீசஸ் லைக் காலரா டிசென்ட்ரி அண்ட் டைஃபாய்டு இந்த மூணு வியாதியும் ஒன்ஸ் அப்பான் டைம் இட் இஸ் அ சீரியஸ் சீரியஸ் டிசீஸ் பட் நவ் பட் நவ் இட் இஸ் அ காமன் டிசீஸ் ஆகிடுச்சு பிகாஸ் ஏ இன்வென்ஷன் medicine and scientific development so the people never bother about the disease so like that the once upon a time it's a dangerous one the flies harmful because spreading such a diseases like cholera dysentery and typhoid next fifth question what is the necessity of keeping our surroundings what is the necessity what is the necessity of the keeping surrounding நம்ம ஒரு நம்மை சுற்றி வந்து நன்றாக சுத்தமாக வைத்து கொண்டால் அதனால் நமக்கு என்ன நன்மை இருக்கு என்ன நன்மை இருக்கு வியாதி வராமல் காப்பாற்றிடுவாங்க வி மஸ்ட் கீப் அவர் ஹவுஸ் சரௌண்டிங் கிளீன் அண்டு ஃப்ரீ டர்ட் இது மாதிரி இருந்தால் டெஃபினட்டாக எந்த வியாதியும் வராது அப்படின்னு நம்ம பேசஞ்சர்லேருந்து ஆன்சர் நம்ம எடுத்துக்கிறோம் வாட் இஸ் த ஆன்சர் வி மஸ்ட் கீப் அவர் ஹவுஸ் சரௌண்டிங் நம்முடைய வீடுகளையும் நம்மை சுற்றி இருக்க பகுதிகளையும் சுத்தமாக எந்த விதமான அழுக்கு இல்லாமல் பாதுகாப்போடு இருந்தோம்னா டெஃபினட்டாக எவ்ரி ஒன்ஸ் லைஃப் இஸ் அ ப்ரொடெக்டட் அண்ட் ஃப்ரம் த மஸ்கிட்டோஸ் அண்ட் தே மே லிவ் ஹாப்பிலி என்டயர் லைஃப் தேங்க் யூ திஸ் இஸ் த லாஸ்ட் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் ஃபார் யுவர் கவர்மெண்ட் எக்ஸாமினேஷன்ஸ் நெக்ஸ்ட் கிளாஸ் ஆன்வர்ட்ஸ் வி கோயிங் டு சி ஆல் த லெசன்ஸ் வில் கோ டு த லெசன் ப்ரோஸ் பாய்ட்ரி அல்லது ஆல்ரெடி வி கம்ப்ளீட்டட் supplementary now we going to see next class onwards lessons only so until then goodbye thank you very much